All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab's in the house, and welcome back to the channel. When you see uh, something like this, uh, it means it's something pretty nice. Um, like in this case, it's gonna be amazing. Because right inside this pouch, it's uh, a full custom Shirogorov Mini Quantum. Uh, it's just something I'm really excited about, and I really hope you guys enjoy this fella. And if you want, you know, you can check fablades.com, see what is going on there, or at fablades on Instagram, I don't know what is going on there, but for sure there's going to be some pictures, some content, some items that you might want to check, but you're here to check this guy, look at this, so uh, when uh, something is just coming like wrapped like that with this kind of bead, duck foot right over there, you know it's a full custom Shiro, um, there's three tiers in the Shiro Gore of uh, lineup, uh, which is the production, the custom division, and the full custom. Um, this is the highest uh, level of uh, Shirogorov you can reach, and it's gonna be expensive, so it's very expensive, but it's just the pinnacle of the Shirogorov production, uh, in the sense that it's a custom production, right? So, Anyways, let's go ahead uh, and unfold this beauty, which comes with this uh, titanium bead. Uh, you see, you have the Shirogorov logo with some micro milling on the back. You have the duck foot, which is the, uh, the, the, the hardware that is being employed only in the full custom lineup. You just unfold this fella, you open it up, and, uh, and look at this. You, you find this little guy right over here uh this is the mini quantum guys and it's uh something just gorgeous all right let me do a quick size comparison of course i'm just gonna show you like a neon uh, uh nl for example like that just tiny bit smaller and an f3 and s uh, big boy so we are just right in between if you have a stellar which i don't right now because Clark didn't want to sell it to me, and it would be here, right? So right in between, maybe next time, I don't know. And um, what else can I show you? Just another couple, because I really love these two guys that I just uh, got, uh, Mini Chaos uh, from uh, uh, Walter Randolph and uh, Cody Utzler Duck, just two of my favorite uh, frame locks uh, custom that I have currently, uh, gorgeous stuff, but here also we have a custom Shiro, and this is a Mini Quantum, guys. So, uh, yeah, this milling is pretty spectacular indeed. That's just dirt, I hope. Anyways, uh, just a little tour of the knife uh, like that before I start talking. This is, a, this is marvelous, guys. This is something uh, truly, uh, I don't know. I don't even know what to say, guys. It's so good. Can I just shut up and just admire this piece in silence? Or do you want me to talk about it? I don't know. I'm just going to say something because something has to be said about this piece. It's so good. Uh, this is the mini Quantum uh, full custom. Currently... There is a custom division version of this one and a sprint run version of this guy. Um, the custom division uh, I haven't tried as a different milling pattern, which is again different uh, uh, than the um, sprint run. And as uh, the main difference is going to be the pocket clip, which I'm going to talk in a second. Now I'm just going to chat about this. Uh, set of scales which are titanium with some very subtle anodization um, you have uh, this milling which is just gorgeous chamfering like next level but the main thing is that this thing is just concave so here it just it's indented like that it's not flat and why so both sides are concave uh, kind of like in the uh, quant um, uh, Hattie magnetic show side. This is fantastic because you, if you hold the knife like this, it's just a natural shape that your thumb wants. Like even here, you know, when you handle, you, you just 
grab it, it's just, your fingers are going to be probably here. So again, this curvature just naturally follows the curvature of your fingers, like so. That's why it's going to be super comfy in the hand, because you have place for your fingertips, and it's just whoosh, concave. So this allows for the creation of this faux bolster right over here, which again has some micro milling going on. It's just not, it looks like, yeah, there's no milling. No, 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 no. There's a lot of micro milling going on. You have a raised pivot collar with a raw titanium exposed satin, not raw, sorry, uh, which just surrounds this fantastic duck foot custom pivot dual tone, which is a faux pivot, of course, because that is the real pivot going on, okay? So this is the part you unscrew. You don't do anything. You don't touch this guy. Keyed in pivot, of course. It's not spinning uh, in any ways, right? Also, I just forgot something I want to show you uh, because I think it's pretty cool. So in this, um, uh, this is the case, let's say it's a hank, there is a secret pouch, pocket, sorry, right over here underneath the log, which... Uh, holds the coin, uh, it's a titanium coin, uh, which uh, is the certificate of authenticity of the knife. So here you get the mini quantum with a hand rub S90V blade, titanium handle, double row roller bearing system, a PLDS 2.0. This was uh, created in February 2023 by Sergei Shikogorov and it's uh, signed right there. How cool is this certificate of authenticity, which just goes next to your knife? It's amazing. And it's going to go right back there. So um, this pivot is uh, fantastic. I wish I have the tools to take it apart. I'm, I'm going to do my best, guys, to uh, source some of these tools to show you how this looks on the inside because I cannot wait to take this fella apart so not gonna be able to show you the double row roller bearings uh, in a bit but I probably will in the future because this is gonna stay for a bit because it's one of it has become one of my favorite knives uh, ever it's um uh, it's just so good um so you have some you know of course extensive uh, chamfers and very nicely rounded off uh, contoured edges, 3D milled machine. I mean, guys, it's endless. This thing is like, the machining here is just like uh, close to porn uh, for me. So it's uh, mesmerizing. I, I, I really don't know where, where to start. I mean, let's check the backspacer, right? Backspacer uh, is titanium. It is uh, as a like a full floating backspacer, uh, you see that this the, the the spacer doesn't touch the scales because it's just resting underneath, uh, uh, like up against the titanium scales underneath that. So it, it gives you that impression of floating. You have a lanyard hold option right over here, integrated into the lan into the spacer. It's a little bit tight, but you can do it. You can use. Uh, a lanyard right over there. You have, of course, uh, like this centering backspacer, like over here. You see, I mean, th this part of the knife is just like ridiculously complex. Nice chamfer over here. I mean, these scales are fantastic. And of course, the back, the, the, the lock side, the, the clip side is also matching except for one little bit see just this guy and what is this guy this is part of the clip this is the ramp for the clip what is going on in this clip this is the first spring-loaded pocket clip uh, uh, on uh, on a knife uh, and it was put uh, on the um, sprint run on the full custom but it's not present on the custom division version of the Mini Quantum. So keep that in mind. You have the same design of the clip, but there is no spring and there is no arrow. That is why you see the arrow with these fantastic uh, milling lines that are surrounding and expanding uh, 
the, onto the arrow. And this here also is like a, a symbol, I think, uh, that shows you that the knife clip just swings to the side like that, like this is telling you. So swing it this side, put it in the pocket and release. And this guy is gonna be snagged into your pocket. So this serves two purposes. One, if you have fancy pants, like very thin, very classy, you go to a wedding, for example, you don't wanna just shred the, your your pocket, your fabric, so, uh, uh, the fabric of the of your uh, of your pants. Therefore, when you are about to insert the knife, you just angle it like this. So you angle it to the side, slide it in, and release. So this guy is just gonna come back because it's spring loaded, right? It's just gonna come back. Underneath this, you see there is like a detent ball hole and a detent ball ram beside the signature and some micro milling, of course, because of course they, they gonna do some micro milling on the inside of the pocket clip, duh. No area on this knife has been left like to the chance. Everything has been really thought through. And here you have the ramp. You have the Deaton ball ramp for the Deaton ball to snag the clip and just stay there. So the one purpose I was saying is for fancy pants. So you don't want to shred those. You just angle, slide, and just release. And it's going to just uh, lock into place. Second purpose is if you have thicker pants. So there's no way you, you can just, you know, use like thicker pants on all the pocket clips you have, especially if they're snug or tight. Therefore, you have like a chance, like look, look how much fabric can be snagged. Just slide it in and release. And this guy is gonna, the, the pocket clip is gonna go back to a point where it's enough to keep this in place. That is the clever bit, in my opinion. So really, really cool um, mechanism. Great innovation uh, that I love to see in, uh, you know, some, I'm not saying stagnant market, but the innovation uh, that Shirogorov is bringing is just uh, fantastic. So. I just love it that they are doing this kind of stuff. Fantastic pocket clip. Um, something that I really uh, also love about this guy is the inset lock. So this is uh, not a frame lock. It's uh, not really a liner lock. This is an inset lock. So you have this lock, which is inset into the, um, let's say, clip side scale. And it has like the this tab, which, by the way, has another level of micro milling to have a little bit more grip when you disengage the lock bar. But if you follow the contour, it's just not stopping right over here, but it's rolling over with this thing called the apron and just covering this part of the lock side. When you, especially if you are lefty and you disengage the lock bar like that, you're gonna have some meat of your thumb just snagged into the crevice that usually it's found there in the liner locks. In this case, you have this apron, which is covering this side, is giving you like the contour the, of, the, of this part of the handle, which is uninterrupted when the knife is closed. Look at this, all flowing. And that is also the reason why you cannot have any part of your uh, fingertip just snagged, pinched into this, uh, space. I mean, gorgeous. Um, the level of milling, uh, I'm so curious. Of course, there is dual tone finish on the inside, which I'm dying like to show you. And it's gonna happen, don't worry guys. Anyways, where is the Shirogo logo? There it is, right there. Nowhere you can find it on the outside, and it's just right there. Signature uh, of Sergei, it's just right here underneath the clip, as I showed you. You have this fantastic centering backspacer, and then what else you have? You have a hand rub satin S90V blade. Uh, this is a kind of like a mirror uh, satin kind of deal. Uh, it's very unique, very fine satin uh, finish. Uh, the jimping is absolutely functional, right? Not like, for example, like this jimping here, which is just 
not functional at all. There's no grip here. Yeah, you can definitely take advantage of this. Yeah. Uh, beautifully skeletonized blade, uh, nicely executed. Uh, imagine, guys, this is all handmade, by the way. I mean, can you imagine doing this whole, like this perfect, matching with the line like that? I mean, it's, for me, it's crazy. Like, the swedge. Just, just look at the swedge. Look at that. Look at this swedge right over here. It just stops here. And you can see the profile from the spine. Creates that little diamond right over there at the tip and keeps the tip thick. Gorgeous. 100% belly. Sharpening coil. Now they're doing, you see, you have sharpening life right behind that. Skeletonized flipper tab with, look at the cham angle, chamfering, changing, and uh, tapering down to the tip. i never seen this little detail. Uh, jimping, right over here, you see, like this. Look at that. Perfect, L perfectly lined up with this part of the scale. Jimping, absolutely functional. So this guy, you just do this. <laughs> it wants to, like, really hard to, to fail, guys. I mean, just fantastic. Um, I was saying, yeah, I can't wait to get the tools to show you how this pivot works because it's just fantastic. Here you have uh, the second version with the pivot collar, uh, dual tone finish, custom hardware, which I'm not a fan of, but I'm gonna do it, don't worry. Um, very, very complex, one of the nicest pivots uh, around. And uh, look at this screw over here, mini duck foot right over there as well. I mean. Pocket clip has also dual tone finish, matching the uh, pivot uh, and a little bit of uh, lighter color for the back uh, for the backspacer as well. So it creates this matching with the pivot uh, screws, uh, dual tone finish. I am uh, really I don't know, out of words. I don't know what else to say. It's such a good knife. Uh, the let's do blade. The, thickness you get 2.87 so three millimeters and behind the edge this thing is just crazy 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 thing look at this 0.3 behind the edge uh so so thin um it's just spectacular you get s90v engraved on the inside so it's not gonna ruin anything on the back just love it um on the back you have this pinched scales right over here look at look at this detail uh, detail for your landing area of your flipper flipping finger uh i was saying double row roller bearing so you can't really see so you can see here the logo for the double row roller bearing and uh, the single row roller bearing is this logo there so you see the difference um I cannot show you on the inside for now, but I promise I will, because it's just gorgeous. Like to see how this pivot is done on the inside, just fantastic. Uh, the action, one of the best detent I've ever had in a Shirogoro, if not the best, with a, with a lightweight blade, which is, you see, it doesn't really uh, drop shot, you just gently close it like that it's so good because the, the the blade of course is three millimeters it's short so there's not much weight to it and this is new so it still has to break in but i'm telling you guys the snappy detent that this guy has it just makes some other like really nice detent knives that i have just uh, i don't know like being uh I don't know, in trouble, because it's such a good detent. And the sound, you want to talk about the sound? I really hope you guys can appreciate this beautiful sound that is coming out from this little guy. Such a great, great knife. The only thing 
that I can complain about this fella is the price because they are going into the five figures uh, realm. So it's yeah, it's yeah, it's gonna hurt the wallet like big time, big time. But the value is gonna be held for a long time because there is such a, a big scarcity of these things uh, that for sure, for sure is going to hold the value. And in the meanwhile, you're going to enjoy a piece that not many people can have, can enjoy because such a limited uh, amount are available and very, very hard to find. So it is a grail. Definitely it is a grail, and I don't know what can be found beyond this point, because we are talking about like innovation, uh, classiness, uh, sound, feel, look, milling, everything is into this knife. It's like the pinnacle, in my opinion, of the, of the Shirogorov uh, lineup. So probably it's going to make it to the production, not yet as of now, uh, March 2023, I think it's going to do it because it's such a good knife and such a good size. And really, guys, uh, probably one of my favorite top in the top five ever. So there you have it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.